previous video we showed how to you know create your sample blazer application now we have you know employees class and we are able to get employees information but that is a hard coded thing right if you look at this this is a hard coded thing now we want to get it via you know uh, a database so for that we already have a api we are going to you know uh, create some classes and interface so that that is going to help us in you know making a rest api call in order to do that I'm going to create an interface add new class I'm going to choose interface I'm going to say I employ now this interface has one method called get employee all right so this method would have a return type so i'm gonna say task of i enumerable of type employee all right I'm gonna say public so that's it so now uh, you got to you know implement this interface now this interface has to be implemented so I'm gonna create a repository class I'm gonna name it employee repository all right so now this is going to implement I employ So now let's go to the implementation section. I say implement interface. <clears throat> All right. So now here we're going to make use of HTTP client. All right. HTTP client dot base address. Now declare the base address over here and then sorry base address then I'm gonna say where result so this base address I'm gonna define it in the startup section. So meanwhile, I'm gonna register a few things over here. I'm gonna say services dot add scope. Then I'm gonna say <coughs> I employee. Then I'm gonna say I sorry employee repository All right <clears throat> so I'm gonna add few more things so I'm gonna say services dot add HTTP client I'm gonna pass the interface and then I'm gonna say option goes to option dot base address is equal to new URI and I'm gonna pass 
localhost this is a port number I'm gonna change it later for now just to understand I'm gonna keep this as a port number right so what else we have I guess this is sufficient enough all right so now we have http client dot get json async and it will take array of employees and this is uh, you know, the address we're going to pass and i'm going to show you the api result okay so this is the api result so i'm gonna take this port number and i'm gonna pass it in the startup class where we have registered here all right so then i'm gonna say https sorry all right so this is my base address and here i'm sorry here i have mentioned the attribute of inject and now we're gonna inject private read only i employee and then say employee and we do have a constructor right so if not we can create a constructor okay we're gonna say were results equals to employee dot get employee fine I'm gonna comment this out and I'm gonna take this out that's it when I mention Sync and I'm gonna say await and I'm gonna return this results. So this should help. I have made few changes so I'm gonna show you the changes what I've did so a I have renamed employee class to people reason being that is you know uh, look at this database you know the database collection name is people over here so this is a firebase database and the database uh, collection name is people so hence you know to suit this I've renamed rest all things remain the same all right and the data types and you know the column field names will remain the same uh, as you know you see in the uh, database collection right age destination name here age name and destination right so the second changes is in the employee repository all right so now i have injected http client over here and then you know i have returned get json async and of type list of people and here i have mentioned the api url right and the third change is in the employee list base so now here i have you know uh, created a list of employee class and uh, i have created the instance of this employees list of empl uh, list of people over here look at this and now i'm gonna call uh employee service look at this employee service dot get employee 
so these are a few changes and if you look at the startup class instead of you know mentioning the base address over here i'm gonna say uh, services dot add singleton and i've added the reference of i employee and the implementing class employer repository so these are few changes that i've made i mean it doesn't matter i mean even if you remove this and keep this it would still serve the purpose all right so just for the ease of understanding i have created this particular line and let's run and see let's run the api first which would give you the employee result <clears throat> so look at this so now this api is going and fetching from the database right so let me show you so look at the look at this these details are being fetched and um, uh, you know if the json re result is being produced and this is the json result from the api right so now we're going to consume this api and we're going to run our blazor solution which will consume this api all right so look at this address base address which is mentioned over here so this will consume uh this particular api all right so and this would display it on the screen let me show you so once you run the blazer solution you would be able to see uh, the employee details look at this so you have four records and these are the four records So this is how simple it is to you know consume web API uh, from Blazor solution. 